In this, the love of God was manifested toward us, that God has sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights. The worship team here, the bridge, Faith Bible Church, myself, we want to welcome you to this time, this special Christmas celebration, focusing on God's perfect gift, his son, Jesus Christ. We pray that our time together during this, this time, this inspiration, if you will, will minister to your hearts. Let us pray. Father, we thank you that we can sing about the Savior, Jesus. We thank you that he has come. We thank you for your love that has sent him, his love for you, his obedience towards you, his love for mankind that he has come, that he has become one of us so that he could bring us to you. Father, I pray that this time of music, this time of your word, will indeed bring you glory and honor, that your spirit will take the word of God as it is read, as it is sung, and bring illumination to hearts, that you would draw the child of God all the closer, and that you would draw those who are still in darkness, still in their sin, and bring them to saving knowledge of Christ. May the life and light of Jesus dawn upon their hearts. We pray and ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's begin with going to the Word. A reading from John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And all his fullness we have all received and grace for grace. For the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ.
Galatians, we learn that when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, that we might receive the adoption as sons.
Luke's account tells us that she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there was in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them And the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. Thank you. 
prophet Isaiah says, But for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end upon the throne of David and over his kingdom to order it and establish it with the judgment and justice from that time forward, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Again, Isaiah says, There shall be a root of Jesse, and he shall, he shall rise to the reign over the Gentiles. In him the Gentiles shall hope. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. 
For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Father God, Abba Father, you are the God of perfect timing, and we thank you for this time, this time of song, this time of prayer, this time of the season. Thank you. Father, I pray that this message, your message, will resonate and travel further and land deeper than it ever has before. Father, I pray that your message, the gospel message, will land deep into the souls that don't know you. Father, help them to seek your presence for the first time. Father, I pray that the, your gospel message will land deep into the souls of those in the middle ground who may know you but have forgotten may know you, but haven't fully committed to you. Help them find your presence for the first time again. Father, pray your message, message of hope, message of Jesus Christ, lands into the souls of those that do know you. them seek your presence for the first time in a new way. Take them past their comfort zone. That they may find new and glorious ways to serve you. And Father, thank you. Beyond measure, There's no words to truly describe the gratitude, the love, and the fulfillment of King Jesus Christ, your Son. Our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer, our King, our Teacher, Comforter, our strength, our shield, our armor, our perfect gift. Available to all. It's in his name we pray. From our family here at Faith Bible in the Bridge. We wish that you have a merry and joyous Christmas. Stay safe, and may God bless you and your family.